Yeah. I mean, Mewtwo's got a spike, too. Oh, yeah. Very good. I don't know. They're, uh... They're striking. Uh, I think a Mew suit won. But now I'm, uh, what I'm going to be excited for when, uh, fall semester happens and, uh, I'll hopefully be able to come crash to their club meetings every Friday. <laughs> right as soon as I get off work, because I actually work on the east side of Birmingham, so I just bring my, keep my controller in my car during work and just go crash it. If they wanted something there, they probably shouldn't go to Battlefield, but Dreamland would probably be better. But the thing is, with platforms, you can camp under... This is probably good because you can camp under it, and that way, uh, like, Mewtwo's projectiles aren't as effective. Because he basically cut, like, 25, 30% of what uh, he can approach. Yeah. Oh. Ah, they're still thinking. All right, battlefield. One of the heaviest lightweight characters. Yeah, or is he in the middle? The lightweight. That was a real good approach of missing with the down B. Especially with uh, Rosalina, her recovery is uh, don't have any hitbox on it, so there's no fear to approach it. I was gonna say, we're about to have three people on the stage or on the ledge. It's kind of heavy, so. Really? I really thought he they put him in as a middleweight class. So damn beautiful, they're they're just controlling this game almost. But do you think it would have killed though? No. Yeah. 
Mewtwo's just trying to get back on. Ooh, no magnet hands. I'm surprised he didn't try to uh, wall cling at all, because a lot of people forget Mewtwo has a wall cling, surprisingly. Yeah, it just looks really, really weird. I really do think they're probably going to come out with another two, three more patches before uh, they officially done everything. Yeah, I mean, that, here's the thing. It's like uh, when Meta Knight was uh, found to be really good in Brawl. The thing is, though, it took, you got to... Yeah, it was almost towards the end of uh, Brawl Life, and um, um, and then here's the thing though, uh, before the ban, you know, people had a lot of Meta Knight matchup experience, and so they knew how to do the matchup, but then once they banned him, and then they're like, eh, we'll bring him back for one or two tournaments, people are like, how do I play against this character, so it's kind of like a double-edged sword banning a character sometimes. So you don't need to deal with them, but when you're forced to deal with them, yeah, because then Brawl also, people would have pocket Meta Knights. That'd be garbage. Not really, actually. Um, particularly around here um, in uh, Georgia, Alabama, you'd have maybe one or two every four tournaments almost. They weren't that common. <laughs> well, here in Alabama, we love playing different characters. Yeah. Which I'll just... Yeah. Uh, uh, and then um, Zero Suit Samus, her uh, up B kill. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah. trying to or trying to go for a kill or so because he's like well I'm that high up so oh crap the change the score it's about even right now so it's been uh, going a little bit more even since that last game so Zero Suit has like gotten like a lot of close kills lately, so Yeah. Or just needed like ten more percent of rage or something. Zero Suit was trying to save uh, her teammate against uh, um, Med Knight, but just wasn't quick enough. I don't know about that. That uh, falling neutral layer from U2, I don't know if that was a very good call. Oh, oh, U2 as dead. All right. Well, it used to be pretty even. It's now it's gone way into so damn beautiful's favor, unfortunately. 
Yeah, were they given number one seed? Oh, they got second seed. Yeah. That was a good read there. I mean, a few things I didn't mention though. Mewtwo was trying to do a few up air, uh, th th few up throws. Problem with that is that animation's too long.